Well, that's going to be dependent upon who you are. Uh, there's a lot of applications that uh, can't be moved off premise yet. So, and it's going to be some growing pains. Uh, people have to feel comfortable with it. It also has to be uh, reliable and customizable. So the customizing part is hard right now in certain instances. It's hard to put take that server centric mindset and try to move it to a disconnected online environment. Okay. And they're doing their best to make it look the same, but it's not. You still you don't have that server uh, code that you can just put on there whenever you want. You have to go through somebody to ask them to put it on there, and then you're giving up that control, and it's just hard for people to do. Well, I would take exception to the statement of fact that SharePoint Online is better than on-premises. But, but this is an interesting one for me personally. I was a, a SharePoint uh, admin for many years now. So, you know, two years ago, if you'd asked me about this, I'd have said, you know, letting SharePoint out of the data center is the dumbest thing ever. Security, privacy, all those easy ones to hit. And then a year and a half ago, the company that I worked for was bought by a hosting company, Rackspace. So now I've kind of had to look at both sides of this coin now. So now I think of hosted SharePoint. I, I, for me, there's kind of three slices to the pie now. There's the product SharePoint Online, Office 365 that Microsoft has. And then there is the, um, the on-premises installations that people have in their own data centers. And then there's hosted SharePoint, which is the stuff that Rackspace does. And they've all got uh, benefits. So the, the thing that Office 365 Online and that, that hosted SharePoint at Rackspace uh, one of the benefits they have is ease. SharePoint is a huge product, and and I think Microsoft was brilliant with SharePoint in that everybody has it. It's it's like a virus. Everybody's got it. But for companies, we'll say under a thousand people, it's too expensive and it's too complicated. And they want SharePoint, but they can't afford it because SharePoint talent's hard to find and it's expensive. And and SharePoint guys are kind of a pain in the butt, myself included. So for a small company to get SharePoint expertise and keep SharePoint running on premises can be a huge challenge. And Microsoft saw that, and I can just imagine somebody, you know, the accountants were looking at that and like, I think we've sold SharePoint to everybody. I think every possible company that could buy SharePoint has. Now we need to figure out how to sell it to the rest of the people. And so that's what SharePoint Online and, and hosting stuff like Rackspace allows, is it allows smaller people to get that goodness that is SharePoint without the headache of maintaining it and hiring people. So that's what it's got going for it. SharePoint on-premises though, there will always be a need for that. And it will be for things like BI. Get, get, getting SharePoint's fingers in all these other pies, you're just not gonna be able to do that in a sec yeah, I'll take that back. You can do it, but there are security folks that have problems with getting that stuff across the wire. And then there's just also uh, resource issues. You know, if you've got SharePoint going out and hitting a two terabyte database and combing through things, that works pretty well on premises. Doesn't work where the poop across the internet, uh, all that. So there will always be a need for some bits of on premises, at least for the short term. So it's, it's better in that regard there. Online is excellent vanilla flavor. On premise, you can do whatever you want with it. I think SharePoint Online is better um, because you don't have to have as many people managing your infrastructure, your IT infrastructure. I think there's not really a lot of advantages for most companies to have IT people working for them. And while it might put guys like me out of a job, I think that at the end of the day, companies will get better efficiencies and productivities and advantages by moving to the cloud and um, getting, taking advantage of the best IT infrastructure people that, that are out there to manage those systems for them.